Anti-Putin blogger has his throat slit in a hotel room after vocally opposing the Russian president. Here's a summary of the article. Imran Aliyev, 44, was found lying on the ground with multiple wounds in his chest and his throat slit with a bloodied knife next to it. Aliyev has been a strong critic of Vladimir Putin and Chechen leader Ramzan Kadyrov on his popular blog and YouTube accounts for years, working under the pseudonyms of Mansur Stari or Old Mansur. Aliyev's 35-year-old Chechen traveling companion disappeared shortly after the shocking murder that was discovered by the hotel manager on January 30 after they failed to check out. The pair had traveled from Mr. Aliyev's home in Belgium where he was under police protection, to Lille, France, via train on January 29 where they booked into the Coke Hardy Hotel. Officers are now hoping to track down Aliyev's mysterious companion who is still missing over a week after the killing according to Business Insider. Obviously, considering Aliyev's history and previous threats, we need to strongly examine the possibility of a state intelligence service in this murder. According to Le Monde, this is the second attempt on his Aliyev's life since the summer. This post received a score of 84,876, with an upvote ratio of 92%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. The traveling companion needs to be found. They are either dead, captured, or working very hard at not being found. Fair assessment. Well those are like, the three options. There's always the fourth option, they were in on it. However, I suppose that would fall under the trying not to be found category. The fourth option is they coincidentally went for a stroll in the woods and got lost. I suspect we'll get an update soon on how this happened and how they slipped and fell on about 15 stabby forest bullets. The fifth option is they were walking down the sidewalk, tripped, fell on some street bullets, and landed in a ditch. Ugh, I'm so tired of these goddamn gang-banging sewer rats killing key witnesses. They are very sorry and they would like to invite you for tea at Putin's secret cabin to talk about it. Kind of a pussy move when a dictator can't take a little criticism. It's a defining characteristic of a dictator to silence opposition though. In fact that is kind of fascism's thing. All fascist regimes are dictatorship, but not all dictatorship are fascist, though. Edit, for the newcomers, just in case you think that saying, America is fascist, but putting is fascist, or, Sparta was fascist, LMAO, I mean, seriously, Spartans, the hipsters of the fascism because they were fascists before it were cool, is clever, you are late, you are not clever, save your time. Also, if you are going to make a joke or a clever pun, please take sit and let's have some fun. It will be hilarious. Said by Madeleine Albright in her book of fascism, a warning. Na Neuromante just said that. True I heard the whole thing. And upvoted, so I know it's factual. I confirm source, bird law, obviously. Sounds like a suicide to me. Just a shaving accident. Accidents happen every day, Sergeant Angel. She tripped and fell on her own shears. It's just the one shear actually. Why is this comment so underrated? No one tells me nothing. Couldn't you find a link from anywhere else? Stop posting the sun. Straight in the bin with the sun. Here's an alternative news article. This is why freedom of speech is so powerful. I don't think it would stop a hitman from killing you TBF. But you can scream while he does it. Look how he's oppressing me. Help. Help. I am being oppressed. Come see the violence inherent in the system. Epstein. Yes. He slit his own throat whilst shaving, taking extra care to dissect both of the external carotids, in a longitudinal manner, to maximize lamina dehiscence, exsanguination and almost perfectly guarantee his own death no one else is being sought in conjunction, for this accident. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.